Hey guys! Okay, I'm gonna be doing a bunch of my favorites, and I know I'm kinda late. Trust me, I get it. I'm aware. This is my first favorite video that I'm super excited, and I'm sure I could this last week, but with everything that's been going on with my mom and everything, I haven't gotten a chance to. And I know my lighting's weird because it's coming from over here. So. But I don't have a light, like, in this general area, and I keep meaning to get one, but I just haven't. So y'all have to deal with this for today. Sorry. Okay, so I'm going to start off with my favorites for this month, and my first one is going to be Tea Tree Shampoo. It's by Paul Mitchell, um, and I have the shampoo and the conditioner in my favorites video because this saved my hair. My hair was so bad. I went uh, about three weeks ago to get my hair cut, and it was awful. It was the worst condition my hair's ever been to. Uh, the same lady has been cutting my hair for years and years and years. And she said that she honestly can't believe I let it get this bad. So she, I spent $60 in product but to fix my hair. And this stuff has saved my hair. My hair, it feels better. It's more moist. And it's not so dried out. And it's so much more like manageable. And I don't feel like my hair is going all over the place. Because all the time my hair is curly when I wear it natural. It goes like this, and it's that. So I have the shampoo. Um, it's Tea Tree Special Shampoo, and it's by Paul Mitchell, and I love it. And I use the conditioner, and I condition every day. I shampoo every other day, and I don't know why, but that's what the lady who the lady told me to do. Okay, and next in my July favorites is gonna be. My Taylor Swift perfume. Um, Wonderstruck, I think it's called. Yeah, Wonderstruck by Taylor Swift. And I'm in love with this stuff. I'm not going to lie. Um, I got it for Christmas from my brother. Got it for me for Christmas. And he got me the one with the body lotion and the shower gel. And I use this every time I shower and this every time I put on lotion. And this every time I put on perfume. This is the only one I use. So I keep meaning to go out and buy them. But I just started using them probably the end of June. And they smell so good. It smells just like heaven. Mm. So I really, really like these. So I highly recommend this for girls. It just, I don't know what it smells like. It just, it smells so wonderful. And I just, Oh, I love it. It's so girly and it's so, you know, like, ooh, look at me, I'm a girl. Ooh, I feel good. So I really, really like it. And then the next thing on my thing for July favorites was, this would probably be better in the month of August because it's more of a fall color. And July is still pretty, well, July is summery. So, but um, it's Sinful Colors Leapfrog. Um, I can't, I don't know if you can only really tell, but it's a really, really pretty color. It's like a grayish green. I love it. And it's not what I have on my nose right now, but my nose, I need to paint my nails. That. But, um, and I have a lot of simple colors. I have the box that my stuff came in full of it. I just dropped it on the floor. But, um, so I really, really like that brand, and it's really expensive. It's like a dollar ninety nine regular, and it's on sale once a month for real. It's so inexpensive, and it's perfect, and I love it. And then my next favorite for this month is my EOS lip balm, and it's like I just got a new one like a week ago and it's pretty far down. So um I really like it. I don't know which one this is. Um I don't know which one it is. Um I don't know. There's two pink ones, there's a light pink one and a dark one and I can't remember which I know I know it's a dark pink, but I just don't remember which smell was which. But um so that's that and then my next thing on my July favorites is my Vera Bradley little first I got it this month. I got it this month and I really like it. I got the very beginning of the month and it's just so wonderful. It holds all my stuff in there perfectly. And I have my keys attached to it. I got a lot. I got my my everything and everything. So I just really, really, really like it. And then the next thing on my July favorites is I got this from my best friend for my birthday, which was in May, but I never really started using it until recently. And it's really cute because she wrote me a little note on the first page, and it says, you're my number one best friend, and I can honestly say I don't know what I'd do without you. And I love it. I write down everything in it and, you know, stuff I need to do for homework and stuff like that since I'm already back in school. And I just really, really, really enjoy it. And it's really cute and it's very me, I think. So, and then the next thing on my July favorites, my Marlin water container. It's 32 ounces and I probably drink two or three of these a day. I love water. 
Um, it's really all I can drink recently since my stomach's been bothering me as much as it has, but it's just so good for you and it helps your hair and your skin and then your teeth and your nails. It really, really, really helps your nails. And then, so, I got this when I was in Miami with my aunt. I worked at the Marlins Ballpark, actually, which is a really good experience, by the way. Um, if you ever get an experience to work for a sports team, or even just an intern on a sports team, or anything like that, take it. Even if you don't like sports, because it is such a good experience, and it looks so good on any resume. So I have this, and I love that. I take it with me everywhere, so it's always full. It's almost always in my fridge, being cold. But... Um, and then my next thing, all my favorites, and this is going to sound really odd because most people probably don't even know who he is, but Josh Johnson is the starting pitcher for the Miami Marlins, and I'm kind of in love with him, um, in a non-creepy kind of way, of course, but I'm really obsessed, so when I was down there, my the aunt, the lady who's um, cubicle was right next to the one that me and my aunt shared, gave me this, and it's a collector's bobblehead with Josh Johnson and I got two, one that I can put out in my bedroom and I got one that I can save because I don't know if you know this, but bobbleheads become really popular and to keep them in good condition is a really, really cool thing. Like if you go to a Miami game um, to see the Marlins play, they've got an entire thing, like a shelf kind of storage thing that's glassed in and it shakes and it's got a whole bunch of bobbleheads in it. And it is really, really cool. And then, well, those are non-beauty favorites. But, and then this is my other favorite thing. It's a fossil watch. And I wear this every day. And it's so good for work because it looks really, really nice. And it wasn't expensive. And I actually got it as a gift for my 16th birthday. And I love it. And I wear it all the time. And then another thing is in my WWJD bracelet. It's What Would Jesus Do? And I wear it a lot. I don't wear it to work because it's doesn't look really professional because it's kind of like flimsy and it's um, like a cordy kind of material, which I don't really think is the best for work unless you buy it like in like a brand brand. So I got that at um, what that store called? Myway Christian Store. Um, it's here in town where I live, and it's just I really like it. I've got a couple things from there. I got T-shirts, and then my next thing on my favorite list is my phone case. I got an iPhone! Yay! I got it. The Seventh day of July, and I am so excited to them so much. Um, I am just, I was so excited when I got it. I ordered it, and they wouldn't ship it to where I was in Orlando, so I had them shipped to my mom's office, and she next day shipped it to me, and I was just ecstatic, and it's awesome. I love it, and then so I have a whale case on it that I got at Ross, which I don't know if Rosses are everywhere, but that's where I got mine, and I really like it. It's like a blue, and then I have a white I found. And I'll show you guys my thing. This is Baby Shelby right here. Baby Shelby. And that's my brother Dallas when we were little. And I was bald till I was like five. But I've definitely made up for it. I have my hair's not that long, but it's thick and it's very, very healthy now. No, it wasn't. But so um my favorite I'm gonna do my favorite song for this month. And it's probably um hold on. Um, let's see, let's pick one. It's probably going to be Amazing for a Minute by Katie McAllister, and I just love it. It's such a good song, and I feel like it's so good for high schoolers, especially with all the way people act in high school and everything like that, and I just really, really like this song. And it's by Katie McAllister, who I'm a really, really big fan. I have all of her albums on my phone, and I only have four different artists on my phone because I don't want too much on there. And I mostly use Pandora anyways. So that's probably my favorite song for the month of July. I've had it for a while, but I've just been playing it over and over again. And then another thing is that for July, I definitely celebrated Christmas in July, which is actually a really big deal. I didn't know it was a big deal until recently, and then someone was like, yeah, Christmas in July, you know? And I'm like, oh, yeah, Christmas in July, what? And then so, but I rocked out, like, Sugarland has, hold on, here's something like that. Sugarland has a Christmas album out that me and my mom have, and it's always in our car, or my car, and I played it a lot this month, so I would rock out to Jingle Ball Rock on the way to work, and it was, it was great, so I'm definitely in a Christmas music for the month of July, um, but yeah, so, 
that's pretty much going to be it for my favorites video. It's a 10 minute video. It's not like I'm slacking or anything. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you like any of these things, this cost, hold on. This product right here cost $16.50. And then this one cost $15.99. I can't tell you how much the Taylor Swift stuff cost because it's a present. These run about $6.70. Which is actually a lot for a lip balm, but they're really, really good. And they last a long time. Um, I told you how much this was. This was probably twenty dollars, maybe, maybe less. Probably twelve. Not that I think about it. Um, this cost fifteen dollars, and I got this at the Marlin store in the Walmart, and I got a discount since I was working at the time. So yeah, my iPhone cost seventy-five dollars. My case cost seven, maybe. Five, six, seven. So yeah, that's my video and I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you later.